Installing RStudio requires completing two steps. First, you'll need to download R, the underlying programming language that will allow you to run statistical analyses on data. Then you'll install RStudio, an integrated development environment or IDE that will provide you with an expanded set of features to program in R. To start, go to the R project homepage at this URL. From the main page, you'll find several links to download R. Download the binary version rather than the source code. Choose the correct link based on your operating system. Be sure to read the page carefully. There may be different versions available for different releases of the same operating system. Be sure to choose the one that matches what you have installed. If you're using Windows, select the base version. Make sure to download the most recent version of R. This will usually be the first version available on the download page, and it should have the highest available version number. Once you have R downloaded, install it on your computer as you would any other piece of software. Read all the prompts carefully as you go through, though for most people, the default installer settings will be fine. Once you have R installed, try opening it up on your computer. You'll see a command prompt. You now have access to the full R programming language. For example, try typing a simple mathematical operation into the prompt and hit enter. You'll get a result, and this would work for any functions available in R. This isn't the easiest way to work in R, however. So now we'll install R Studio. R Studio works on top of R, but it's a different product available at a different website. And while R is always free, there are commercial versions of R Studio. Don't worry though, we'll be using the free version for this class. Just select R Studio Desktop. The R Studio site will automatically detect your operating system, but double check. If it offers you the wrong version, you can manually select the appropriate download. Once R Studio is downloaded, install it. Just like before, the default settings should be fine. Now let's open R Studio. As you can see, there's a lot more here than when we looked at R alone. But under the hood, it's still R. For example, navigate to the console pane on the left side of R Studio and enter the same line as you did in R before. For example, type 2 plus 2. At the core of R Studio, the R programming language works exactly the same. As for the additional tools and features R Studio offers us, We'll be looking at those in the next few lessons.